What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. The Red Deer Great One Guide series starts now. We're starting with Quattro Kalinas. In this video, we're gonna talk about a whole bunch of different stuff, hotspots, uh, loadouts, just strategies, how respawns work. We're gonna go over all kinds of stuff, everything that I know basically when it comes to grinding a species and grinding for the Great One. I'm not gonna be doing any hunting in this video. If you wanna watch me hunt for diamonds and rares, I have a lot of videos doing that. This video is 100% for the sole purpose of helping you guys grind. So we're not gonna be going out and doing any hunting. We're just gonna get straight into it. And I'm gonna tell you everything that I can to help you guys grind for the great one in the Hunter Call of the Wild. If you enjoy this video, if it helps you at all, please do drop a like on it. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright, so first things first, here we are, we're out in Quattro Kalinas. The first thing I want to talk about here is uh, loadout. So we're going to talk about some rifles. I would not suggest hunting for a great one red deer or getting into this grind using anything other than a rifle. You have a lot of options for red deer, but you only really have a few. There's a few, the, there, there is definitely, you know, a best three options kind of thing here. You have a whole bunch of options. Uh, the 243, the 3030, the, the, the Mosin you can use for red deer. It's actually amazing. You can actually use a lot more rifles. For the red deer than a lot of people realize, the 243 is actually an option the Mosin, and then you've got 30-06 Eckers, you've got the M1 30-06, the 303 British, the 6.5, the 7mm, uh, the, the drilling rifle, there's a whole bunch of different options here, the 270 is another option. I would say your best options are either the M1 30-06, which is my favorite due to its fast firing rate, the 303 British, or the 6.5. The Eckers 30-06 is another really good option, you've only got four rounds in that gun though. I would say I'd like the top two, the M1 30-06, or the 303 British. The 303 British comes with T. Aoroa and the M1 30-06 can be found and purchased in the Smoking Barrels Weapon Pack DLC. So let's take a quick look at my loadout. I've got the M1 30-06. I've also got the Ranger 243. I like to carry that in case I see, you know, a rare road ear or maybe a diamond potential road ear. Um, if you want to swap that out for the 22 or if you want to carry all three, however you want to do this is up to you. The 22, you might want that if you see a rabbit that you want to shoot. The way that I'm doing this, I'm doing this in such a way that I can actually take with me tents and either tripods or tree stands, right? So that I can set up as I go. If you're already fully set up and you've got your rotations going you can swap these out you can take more guns and do a more full loadout but for the purpose of actually setting up this grind uh, I take a really minimal loadout so that I can fit in a tent and a uh, tree stand or tripod now keep in mind I've got the the perk that gives me a little bit of extra pack space you want that that'll give you that'll put you basically up to 23 rather than than 20 uh, as far as the space in your backpack so we've got the m1 we got the 243 I've got my red deer collar that's the only collar I'm bringing on this on this grind uh, I've got my apex view of binoculars I've got my tents and right now I've got some tree stands you can take some tripods or tree stands whichever one you want to take with you so the next thing we're gonna look at real quick here I've got a hotspot map that I have made for the purpose of this grind I'll throw that up on the screen right now these are all the hotspots for red deer on Quattro Kalinas the thicker red the, the more bold red circles are the kind of bigger hotspots that I have found for me it might be different on your map so the thicker red circles indicate more of a hotspot whereas the thinner red circle indicate you know there could be red deer there but not necessarily necessarily uh, a hot spot. Every map is going to differ. Not every map is going to be the same. Now those yellow circles are kind of suggestions for tent placements, but I can't stress enough. Your map is going to be different. Your zones are going to be different. We're going to talk about how I how I, how I kind of work my tents and uh, recovery tents, but these are just suggestions, which is why I didn't want to I didn't I didn't want to emphasize too much telling you guys where to put your tents because it's going to depend on your zone. So an example of that is uh, let's say that your map is like mine. Now I've got two tents at this big hot spot lake up in the top right. This is an amazing spot for red deer. You're gonna have a bunch of zones going kind of all around this lake. Now the way that I've done this, because I have some good zones here, is I've put a tent down in the bottom corner. I've also got some good zones along here. So I've also got a tent up in the top with a tripod. Another thing that I like to do is you'll see here, I've actually got this set up so that I can basically, I'm hunting zones over on this side you can see with the hunting pressure. So I've got two really good red, red deer zones right here. I've also got a good red deer zone right here, and it's a shared zone with roe deer. But basically what I've done here, this tent is only here to pick up red deer, right? So I'm starting here, I'm gonna shoot my zones, and then I'm gonna use this tent just to recover the red deer. So basically I call those recovery tents. I went over this in the Rancho Whitetail Guide as well, and that's how that's gonna go. So let's say you've got a really good zone here for red deer. You could you could place a tent here or up here, wherever you wanna put it. This is actually where I got my great one. That's still the, the hunting pressure from my great one because I haven't been back 
Maxi Quattro sits. Um, but yeah, let's say you've got a good zone here and you want to hunt that zone. Get a tent on this side at least 200 meters away. Guys, you don't want to be spooking your, your animals at your zone. So you got to make sure that whatever tent you're spawning in at to go and hunt from, you want it at least 200. I would say between 200 and 250 just to be safe. 220 at least. Just so that you're not spooking your animals when you get to that zone. So place your tent, approach your zone, shoot your red deer, have a tent on this side that you can just travel to, pick up your, your red deer quick and move on to the next zone. And basically what you're going to do when you're setting up is, is check all the lakes that I've circled. Check, uh, there's some hot spots on the river that you're going to want to check. Basically check your entire map, find your best 12 to 15 zones. I like 12 to 15. Uh, that's the magic number for me. Maybe 10 to 15. Maybe you want a little bit less or a little bit more. Maybe you want 17 zones. The way that I like to kind of do my rotations is I want to make sure that I can get all the way around my map, whatever my circuit is, whatever my rotation is. I want to be able to cover all of it in one drink period. So I want to go, you know, basically I get it down to the point where I know where I'm starting and I'm kind of working around my rotation, right? However, I'm doing it. And then I get to the end, their drink time ends. And then I go back, reset the time get all my respawns and then start that circuit again. So let's talk a little bit about respawns. I get a lot of questions. How long does it take for the red deer or the white tail, whatever it is that you're grinding uh, to respawn. After you go through your, your rotation, if you're shooting enough red deer, you do one time reset, go back to your tent, do one time reset back to uh, their drink time. Red deer drink from five until 9.30. On Quattro Kalinas, for example, set the time to 5.30. I like to set it to half an hour after they start drinking. So red deer start at five, set the time for 5.30. That should get pretty much all the red deer into their zones quick and then you should have most of your stags should respawn every time you do a time reset some of them won't they won't all respawn but most of them will and you'll be good to go for your next uh your next rotation so let's talk about what are we shooting are we shooting only the big stags are we shooting you know only level five and up only level six and up i get that question a lot uh in the streams and basically what i found on rancho during my whitetail grind was i started shooting only the big bucks and what i found was i ended up with a map full of small whitetail bucks Basically, the way that it works is if you've got, say I've got four big stags at a zone. Let's say I've got a zone right here, and I got four big stags, and I shoot all four. Let's say three of them come back the next time as big stags, and I've got one small one. Because a big stag is not always going to come back as a big stag. A small stag is not always going to come back as a small stag. It is quite random. So let's say I shoot all four, I've got three back that are big, and I get one back that's small. I shoot all four again or let's say I only shoot the big three let's say two of them come back as a big stag you can see where I'm going with this eventually if you're leaving those small stags just based on the laws of probability you're gonna end up with a zone full of small stags so there really isn't any point uh, in only shooting the big ones because eventually you're just gonna have a map full of small stags you're gonna have to shoot them anyway so I just shoot all the stags all the males shoot all the males don't shoot the hinds unless I don't bother shooting the hinds unless you're trying to spawn a rare hind for your multi mount or something like that there really isn't any reason to it's not gonna help your grind at all as far as getting a great one I don't shoot the hinds but yeah unless uh, there's some red deer out there right now. Unless you're trying to spawn a rare hind, there's really no need to shoot them. So, like, an example of this, in this situation, if I've got one small stag, I'm going to shoot it. And it's going to respawn into another one. It might it might respawn into a big one. It might respawn into a small one. I just shoot all the stags and uh, go from there. When, you're, when you first start grinding your map, you're going to find a lot of zones. You might find 30, 40 zones for red deer. You're not going to hunt all those. You're going to pick your, you know, your 10, 15, 17, whatever it is, favorites. And you're gonna you're gonna form a rotation out of that. So don't worry about it if some of your zones aren't that great, or if some of your zones are kind of hard to to, to kind of get to. If you don't have a good line of sight, maybe all those things need to be taken into into account. Basically, you're picking your favorite zones, not necessarily only based on the red deer you know that you have at that zone in, in, in general. Based it on a lot of things. Is it easy to hunt? Is it quick? Do you have a line of sight? All of those things is it good for for setting up at pick your favorite zone set up a rotation and get into the habit of that rotation I recommend doing it the same each time to form kind of you know I call it a circuit and uh, you can kind of get muscle memory from that and uh, eventually you're doing it exactly the same every time you're getting all of your zones in in one single drink period and then you're resetting the time and you're starting it over again and that's the most efficient way to grind for a great one. Another question I get quite a bit is, will the great one spawn from a diamond or a rare? Will it only spawn from a diamond or a rare animal? Or will it only respawn from a big stag? I don't believe that the great one necessarily does have to respawn from a diamond or a rare or even a big stag. I think the great one could respawn from any stag. I know that my whitetail great one respawned from a small buck. I remember that. That was a thing. Uh, I know I only had small bucks at the zone that my great one ended up respawning from. My great one whitetail. So... 
I would imagine that it's the same for Red Deer. Maybe it's not. Uh, it was, we're kind of early on here. Um, my great one was a fresh spawn, so I can't comment on what that spawned from because it didn't necessarily spawn from anything. But um, I don't think that necessarily you need to prioritize zones that you're getting diamonds or rares at. I do think that they can spawn from anything. I could be wrong. I mean, if you do have a zone that you're getting diamonds and rares from, I would definitely, you know, keep an eye on that zone. Keep it in mind that that's happening there. Or if you have zones that are, you know, consistently getting big stags, you want to, you do want to prioritize those and keep an eye on those. Um, but I do believe the great one can kind of spawn from any stag. Another question that I've been, that I've heard quite a bit, and it's actually a really good question. Can the great one spawn on a zone that you're not hunting? So let's say you've got 30, 40 uh, red deer zones on your Quattro Kalinas map, and you start hunting only 15 of them. Can anything, can, can something that you shoot at one of your zones respawn at a zone that you're not hunting? And the answer to that is we don't really know. Some people say that they can. Some people say that uh, it won't happen. I was finding in Rancho on my whitetail grind, it kind of felt like sometimes I would go to the zones, I would kind of regularly go back to the zones that I wasn't hunting in my rotation and just check them out and make sure that there wasn't a great one, you know, that respawned at a zone that I wasn't hunting. And I do, I do think that there were times where there would be buck at zones that they weren't at before. So I do think that sometimes uh, things can get kind of lost in the mix maybe and animals can kind of respawn in zones that you're not hunting. So. I would say maybe every five or ten runs, just go go kind of go around your map, go look at the zones that you're not hunting. Maybe every five or ten runs, do you know do a run of just kind of going around your map and just checking out the zones that you're not hunting, just to make sure because we don't know for sure if that's a thing. And you know the last thing you want to do is be grinding your map with a great one sitting at a zone that you're not even hunting. So I would say it's worth checking. It's probably not going to happen. Your great one is probably going to spawn at a zone that you're hunting. If you place a tent, you're going to spook everything within about 250 meters. So make sure if you're if there's animals around if you're at a new zone that you're hunting and you haven't shot anything yet And you don't want to spook them shoot them first then drop your tents go pick up your deer you do it that way Right, just keep in mind. You're gonna spook stuff by putting tents down So tents can't stress it enough 200 to 250 meters away for tents 150 to 200 meters away for your tripods and your tree spit tree stands Just so you're not spooking anything getting up on your tripods or your tree stands and you guys should be good to go And I think that's pretty much gonna wrap it up guys. We did it quick This might be the quickest great one guide of all time but like I said, I wanted to get into it. These guides are meant to help you guys. I would like I like to do them as quickly as I can, give you guys all the information I can in the shortest amount of time possible so that you guys can get out there and get on your grind. And I hope it does help you. If I've missed anything, drop it in the comments. Um, give me some feedback if I've, if I've been if I'm wrong about anything. If you think that uh, there's something you can add to this, absolutely do it in the comments. Let me know if it helped you down below. I appreciate you guys. And if it did help you, drop a like on the video. Much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Lots of awesome content on the way. Take care, you guys. Be safe, happy hunting, go get your great ones, and I will see you guys in the next one.